And if the 8 plus 1 minus 5 is divided by 3, I would get. How dare you? How can you talk about your mathematical doctrines in public? I can't stand you people. Stop imposing your mathematical tyranny on the rest of us. Huh? What tyranny are you talking about? I'm just trying to calculate my library fines. Besides, I didn't say anything false. Just truth. What do you mean by the truth? That's where you are wrong. There's no such thing as the truth. All we know has to do with meaning and how we make sense of things around us. Of course there's the truth. Doesn't 1 plus 1 equal to 2? Isn't that the truth? 1 plus 1 is 2 because we agree on that. It's hardly truth as it's just meaning that we agree on. I find meaning in things and someone else would find meaning of his own. My 1 plus 1 differs from your meaning of it. We can only make a better world when we agree to accept the fact that all our meanings will differ. How can an equation be subject to different interpretation? It's an empirical and rational fact that 1 plus 1 is 2. You can use apples, people or elephants to prove that. It's silly to think that such a fundamental piece of knowledge can be seen as anything but the truth. Are you calling me silly? You go on and on about these supposed truths of mathematics. What has mathematics ever done for me? Well, if allows your boss to calculate how much money to pay you for salary. I'm sure you'll agree that your salary is quite real and quite true as well. Sure, but he's always paid me less than what I want. So mathematics hasn't really done me that much good, has it? Our lives are ruled by oppressive mathematics, like 1 plus 1 equals 2. I'm sure I'd get more salary if I'm not limited by these petty arithmetical constructs. Petty arithmetical constructs? I hardly think they're petty. They're necessary parts of our lives. It's in our nature to count and organize. We're naturally inclined towards maths. What? That's being too domineering, isn't it? How can you say that when there are people like me who don't agree with this oppression of mathematics ruining our lives? Don't you see how it's caused so much misery in schools with all you maths people trying to force it down poor young impressionable mind? But look at all the good it's done. Look at how our society has advanced through engineering, statistics and economics, which are based so much in maths. I don't think you can deny the truth that mathematics is a fundamental contributor to human development. Who's to say what's true or false? I find meaning in what I want to find meaning in, and that makes me true. Do you think you're the only one who is right? I don't think I'm the only one who's right, but aren't you being too dismissive now? You're dismissing this possibility of meaning too. My friends, calm down. You need to stop arguing. I'm sure there's a way for us to come to an amicable solution to this. Arguing isn't the solution. I wasn't. She was the one arguing. I was just defending the truth. You cannot blame me if she finds the truth of maths offensive. Now now, don't create discord. I see what we need here is a mathematically neutral space. You can't impose your views on her or others like her, and she won't impose hers on yours. Yes. Yes, I agree. HMM. But I wasn't imposing anything on her. She was imposing her anti-math views on me. I'm not so sure about this mathematically neutral space. It doesn't seem so good for me. Please. Please, you have to be more open. You need to be more accepting of the strategic harmony arising from our mathematically neutral space. Yes, and stop imposing your crazy maths on the rest of us. I want the freedom to live in a world without maths. Look at the world, and all the problems maths has given us. I agree with your math neutral space. I think it's the only way to stop him imposing maths on us. But I am not imposing anything on anyone. And why should the space be specifically mathematically neutral? Shouldn't we work towards a space where truths can be discussed? There is some truth, but then again, there are some people who are more neutral than others. I'm not too comfortable where this seems to be heading. That's because you seem unable to become more neutral. You really need to be more open to the meanings of others. I'm all for this mathematically free space so that more people like me can flourish outside the constraints of maths.
We should be free to express and make up our own meanings. Yes, that's the way things should be. I think that in public, everyone should be free from outside influences of things that could impinge on their personal freedom. However, they should be free to practice whatever they want in private. And that means you can still do your maths in private. I don't really like the way this discussion is going. Neutrality is okay but this seems to be going a little too far. There needs to be a space where we can discuss things that matter, maths included. By having the maths in private only are we not trading one form of oppression for another? Ah, so now you finally know what I've been feeling all this while. Your kind has been oppressing people like us for too long. Yes, this neutral space is important and we need it to be truly free from mathematical influence so we can pursue our own meanings. Only then can we really have proper dialogue and begin to start respecting each other. I don't think respect really starts like this. I don't feel respected if I'm forced to only practice my mathematical beliefs in private. That makes me feel like I'm a second-class person to those who don't have such beliefs. Maths has become a liability that puts me at a disadvantage. I hardly see the freedom here. No, no, you don't see the point here. We need to be sufficiently free to construct meanings on our own, so that all people have an equal chance to flourish. You or anyone else should not threaten the open space with math or any other beliefs. Yes. I agree. That makes lots of sense. There's the problem. It's great to have a free space but you seem to be confusing free space with your policy that puts believers of the truth at a disadvantage. I just don't see how it can be fair nor equitable. And also, it seems that you're much more sympathetic to our point of view than to people like me. That's not fair either. Ha ha ha, I think you're just sore that you don't get to impose yourself on others any longer. Now now, let's be reasonable here. We do agree that we need some neutrality. But neutrality also comes with the need to allow everyone the chance to express themselves so that people can make up their minds about beliefs without fear of persecution or coercion. We can and should go for an ethical neutral minimum, shouldn't we? Yes. But the more you talk about neutrality, the more you're sounding like her. It's almost as if your version of neutrality is her version. Well, it may seem like it, but it's for the good of everyone, is it not? Yes. Why can't we all be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends?